I finish Sounds it, cool. there'll be another update. Cool. Cool. I like I watched something sports related as well and I Ooh. finished it. And it's uh, the new Amazon Prime documentary, uh, Making Their Mark, uh, which is just all AFL footy. AFL. Yeah, see, I do, do want to, I'll probably watch that after I finish this. It's the probably the most, I'm so happy because it's so well produced. It's, it's so abs- highly made. I've watched a little bit of it because my parents binge watched it, which is so out of character yeah. for them. Mm. Like they full on, the, they were watching three too. episodes in a row, like. Multiple times. How many episodes there are? So I watched it twice because I watched, I binge watched it. So it was meant to come out last Friday, but suddenly it was up on Thursday night at like Ooh. ten o'clock. Nice. So I stayed up to four. <laughs> watching binge the first watching the whole six thing. episodes. <laughs> Do you and have nice. uni the next day? Or? I don't have. I didn't go into uni at all. Oh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. How's that GPA? I'm all external, <laughs> yeah. baby. God damn. Um, I just go to Zoom calls and mute my mic and walk away. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, I watched them and then I watched. The next over the next day, then over the weekend, I rewatched it all with my parents. Mm. And Mike, I'm not going to spend too much on it because I, I know this movie podcast fan base does not give a shit about AFL footy. It's very mm. niche. It's very niche. Um, it's just so great seeing something so well produced. Um, about about like, um, yeah, our for, game. Yeah. Because obviously, we never being Australians, we never see anything hype. We only see what we see on our TV. And if mm. anything is made about it, it's airing on Channel 7 and it's shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, th- I was going to say, just commenting on this as well, for people who don't know what this is, they were ba- they were ba- planned to do a documentary series about these the f- AFL the players. The first episode starts before COVID. Sorry. Yeah, the first episode is completely normal. And then COVID hits. And much like any other documentary series around this time, like... All of a sudden, oh shit! This documentary series is taking a whole nother turn. Yeah, and they probably right. it's probably worked better for them. Yeah, honestly, it made it so interesting. They 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 had behind the scenes access to probably the most interesting season of footy ever. Yeah, they follow one team specifically. Six. They six. follow six mm. six main people. Our boys there. West yep. Coast Crows. Nice. West Richmond. Coast, so West Coast, you follow Nick Nat. Um, yeah. Richmond, you follow. So it, Richmond kind of splits the role between three people. Yeah. Uh, for the first few episodes, you're with Peggy. Peggy O'Neill, who's the uh, American who owns Richmond Football Club. Yes. Uh, and you're also with the CEO, uh, Brendan Gale. Yeah. Uh, but towards the later half of the season, you spend a lot of time with Damien Hardwick, which is the head coach, senior coach oh, really? of yeah. Richmond Football That's Club. That's cool. Uh, for West Coast, no, I said that, GWS, no. you follow Stephen Cognelio, who is the newly appointed first year captain of West Coast, the one, a real young captain. Mm. Uh, and his story is tragic, man. Not like tragic, it's like. Sad. Like, it's actually. It's well. He he's. You can tell that he's not. Um, he's not prepared. He's not a natural leader. Oh. And his story. He ends up being. I mean, this is about the game. He he gets dropped in the first final games. They don't put him on the team. Like, the captain of your team gets omitted. That's yeah. sad. Oh really? Yeah. Crazy. That is sad. Yeah. Um, you follow Eddie Betts. Well, like Eddie from Carlton, he oh. deals with a lot of the racism towards him. Mm. He's received. Cool. Uh, well, not fo- cool, but you know, cool. They're dealing with it. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. You follow Interesting. Rory from Crows. Go Crows. Um, that that's yeah. The, I feel like it's the only time I've actually had to say go Crows. Did I tell you my yeah. mum told off Rory Sloan's wife. I, sorry, I forgot. I my forgot uncle arrested Eddie Betts. So oh, Interesting. That's when he was a kid, bit. when he was a kid in Port Lincoln. <laughs> no, they was they broke into a mall and stole stuff. Okay. Yep. My mum told off Rory Sloan's wife in a car park last week. Right. Anyway, that's recent. Yeah. If I arrested, I want to say they picked them up and dropped them off at their grandma's house because they knew their grandma would do a hell of a lot more than the police. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I commend that. Um, yep. So, yeah. Um, so That's that excellent. Yeah. Was, uh, Rory Sloan. Uh, and so. Rory Sloan. And then you follow Stewie Do. Stuart Dew. You know him, ex-port player. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you were too. Uh, he's no. the coach, <laughs> he's coach of Gold Coast. Gold Coast, okay. that's right, yes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and they have their, like, biggest player, like, he... What does he do? He Justin like, Ra- uh, He Rattles. dislocates his shoulder or something? If, yeah, like four games. What I'm happy about, because like, obviously I the only thing only thing I've seen about this is they just swear a hell of a lot. Yeah. Oh, my God. Seen, I've, seen, I've seen a compilation of uh, fucks. None of us have our phones. And it was Can part one. It was part one. No, I don't have but, TikTok. But um, I'm glad Google. that they haven't just Google. gone like, all right, here's Hawthorne, here's Geelong, here's Collingwood. Yeah. Like they have spread it out like over Australia. Yeah, like, and it, my biggest worry was that it was going to be one person, one team, full episode with them, then next episode, another person. Oh, it's uh, bits of everyone every it's, episode? It's, they're all intersliced. That's so good. it's Because so, it's chronological, so it just goes as the season goes on. Yeah, yeah. But so, no, yeah. that it is definitely like, it was something I was always, I, was, I would watch. Love but the like, show. You've got, you've, but like, you've got me hooked, especially in the fact that like, it's, it's over a lot it. of everyone. Like, yeah. it's I'm glad the they're just not following like, you know, here's Gary Ab. Like, they're following some like, you know, 
not as big people like yeah. to and the it's general just audience. So interesting looking because we see stuff we never see with footy. Like especially like behind the scenes. Halftime and... speeches that the coaches give to their players. They, they just fucking rip into them. Mm. Uh, I'm That's not a big, interesting. Not a I, big, I love a good behind the scenes like that. That's really cool. I'm yeah. not the biggest Richmond supporter because they beat Crows in the 2017 grand final. Mm. But yeah. man, it made me like Damien Hardwick a lot more. Um, so he's such a good coach. And yeah, basically great. Mm. Very happy I watched it. You'd like to think, especially because it's Australian, um, that the the quality of the documentary That's what will carry the sport. Even, exactly. You know, because it reminded me we had a talk about uh, Drive to Survive, which yeah. is a Netflix documentary that is very well produced. A lot of comparisons. Yes, on uh, uh, Formula One. Yeah. Which is a pretty niche sport in a lot of cases. Yeah. A lot of people like it, but don't follow it. I think because it's, it's cool. I like think a lot of people it. obviously know of it. It's just and will like see it on the TV and stuff. But like yeah. to actually be like big follower is that. Very, yeah, there's very another niche, level to it. Yeah. But you watch Drive to Survive and like the documentary is so good that you like it. And then all of a sudden you're on I'm on Reddit and I'm looking at F1 stuff and I'm like, oh, like look, look at that. Oh, who won <laughs> like, this tournament? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Naturally, like, in my head, I had yeah. to compare it to The Last Dance because that's right. one of the yep. sports documentary. <laughs> now, I'll be honest. The subject matter in The Last Dance. I have a lot more interesting. You're yeah. following the oh, greatest yeah. sports personality ever throughout the high of his career. Mm. This, you're following AFL football. Yeah. Through COVID. But, but through I want to see a bunch of Americans being like, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like um, the quality wise, you're talking about that. It's the same. It's like yeah. it's on par it's with that. It's produced incredibly well. And I yeah. do like this more than The Last Dance. Only... Because it hits more close to home. home. Yeah. yeah, that's it's, what I was it's saying. Unbiased. Yeah. It's unbiased. You, yeah. um, you can. I like it in you, a biased. You fashion. can relate. You can. I think you can relate. Like, because it's like it's a sport. A lot of us like. And grew you up also watching watch it, and, and you're like, I was there yeah. for that game. Mm. Like, yeah. that's what's so great about it. Mm. I hope yeah. you won. It was COVID. <laughs> do you, you feel? Like if you're members. Better. Do you feel so much more like you've been following the season and like you understand yeah. the current situation? Absolutely. Yeah, because that's how I felt with the. Formula One one. Yeah. I was like, I feel like I'm in the click, but I haven't watched that at all. <laughs> I 